Hello everyone. I'm just making a delicious healthy fruit smoothie for the safari kids this afternoon. It's really easy. You just put fresh fruit, crushed ice and a little bit of milk into the blender and then crush it all up and mix it up and then it's really healthy and yummy, huh? Hello, nice to see you. You know Chef Jeff and played a soccer match yesterday. Wait! And I know you've heard the story before, but Chef Jeff... It's not that. I can smell gas. I can't smell anything. Oh, wait, Yolanda is right. I can smell gas too. Let me check. Oh, oh yes, yeah. see, the gas bulb isn't turned off properly. Well done, Yolandi. But why did you stop Chef Jeff switching the blender on? I don't know. My mom always tells me not to put on anything electrical if I can smell gas. You see, if the electricity sends out a spark when you turn it on and there's lots of gas in the room, remember you won't be able to see the gas, well then it can set the gas alight and it can cause an explosion. Lots of people in South Africa use gas to heat and cook things, so it's very important to know about the possible dangers. Wow, then we're lucky. But how did you smell it? I didn't smell anything. Wow, Yolandi must just have a really good sense of smell, huh? <laughs> <gasps> What's the thing? Yolanda must smell. How can he say that? She looks very clean to me. And anyway, everyone has some sort of smell, don't they? Oh, what, what? I hope Chef Jeff explains. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean a sense of smell? Ah, you see, humans and most animals have this so-called five senses. They are like our special powers that allow us to experience the world. Wow, we've got superpowers. What are the five senses? Well, they're really quite obvious. I wonder if you can work it out. Well, their sense of smell like your has got. Yes, but we all have it. Your landies must just be really sharp. And they're seeing? Yes, they're seeing. That's how we experience the world. So, sight is one of the senses. I know, hearing. Yes, hearing. And anything else? Oh, yes, it's oh. Oh. It, it, Well, it's something that we all really enjoy. Ah, uh, playing soccer? <laughs> Watching TV? No. <laughs> Although we do use two senses when we watching TV and playing soccer. Do you know what they are? Sight and hearing? Yes. No, it's something that's close to my heart. Food? Yes. Oh, being able to taste something. Exactly, taste. That's four. Smell, sight, hearing and taste. What's the fifth? Okay, I'll give you a clue. You now need to close your eyes. Now, I'm going to put an avocado in your one hand and a peach in the other. Close your eyes. You can't look. Put your hands out. Put your hands out. Here we go. Now, you have to tell me which is which. That's easy. The peach is in my left hand. <laughs> yes, why was it so easy? Because The peach has got a fuzzy skin and the avocado has got a bumpy skin. So the fifth sense is? Touch. Yes. So the senses are sight, smell, taste, touch and hearing. That's how we make sense of the world around us, by using those five senses. Hey, us humans are clever, eh? Well, actually, Sometimes I think that humans aren't as good as animals at sensing things. Some animals have super duper senses. Ah, very true. What were you thinking of? For example, we have a comedian at home. His name is Felix. Oh, he's so freaky. And I love the way he changes colors from green to brown. I... And I love his long sticky tongue. I know. He can look all the way around behind him. We can't do that. <laughs> yes, very true. But wouldn't it be fun if we could look behind us? Especially huh? in soccer. Wow, that would be so cool. <laughs> our eyes are in the front of our head and we can't see all the way around us like chameleons can. Okay, everyone, look at this fruit basket. You can do this at home too. Have a look at the fruit basket. Now close one of your eyes. Okay. And now close the other eye. 
Oh. Um, what happened? Huh? The fruit basket moved. Yes. That's because your eyes are on either side of it, not in the middle. So why don't things look like they're moving when we look at them? That's because our brains are very, very clever. It combines what we see out of one eye with what we see out of the other. So it makes us able to see lots more. And there are muscles in our eyes that make us look up and we can look down and we can look a little bit left and right, huh? <laughs> you know a shark has eyes right each side of its head? Around here? Yes! A shark doesn't actually depend on their eyes that much. They use their senses like smelling and hearing. But the creature with probably the best eyesight is the eagle. Oh yes, you can fly high, high up in the sky and see a little mouse crawling on the ground and swoop down to pick it up. I've seen it. Ah. I've heard that dogs can't see in colour. Is that true? Oh, scientists think so. They think that they can only see in black and white. Oh dear, how awful not to be able to see things in colour. Well, there are other animals that can see lots more colours than we can. Scientists think so. They believe that bees, when they go from flower to flower, can see lots more colours than we can. Can snakes see in colour? I don't know, but I do know that they have small eyes and no eyelids. That's right. Yes, and they don't see very well, so they use their other senses, like taste and smell. How do they do that? Well, let's have a look at this. Snakes have very small eyes and no eyelids but they have a very good sense of smell and taste. Hi, my name is Ian Abissi. I'm the keeper of reptiles here in the Johannesburg Zoo. I want to show you one of the snakes we got here. This is also known as a corn snake, a normal red American rat snake. There's different species of the rat snakes, but this one over here is almost like a brown house snake you found in South Africa. Now, snakes are deaf. They can't really hear anything, but also they got other senses that's working better now. Well, let's see if he sticks out his tongue. They use their thin forked tongues to taste the world around them. Snakes are sensitive to temperature changes. They can feel the warmth of a mouse close by. Smell is an elephant's most important sense. An elephant bull can sniff out a female elephant from 11 kilometers away and a human from one and a half kilometers away. Bees can see lots of colors that we can't see. Chameleon can move his eyes independently. He can turn his eyes right around to see what's behind. Dogs can hear very well, but their sense of smell is quite outstanding. This is why police train them to sniff out drugs and firearms. They are good trackers and can follow a smell which is four days old. Hey, mammy. Yeah, boy, mammy. Hey, did you know there's a moth that's got a fantastic sense of smell? Mm, no. I don't think about moths an awful lot. Hey, you should. They are very clever. Mm. I was reading in my in my psycho, my my encyc encyclopedia. Yeah, in my book that there's a special kind of male moth that can smell a female moth from 11 kilometers away. Hey, I'm sure people can smell you from far away. Wow, oh, very <laughs> funny. <laughs> Hey, hmm? what's the smell in here? Um, what smell? You know, that smell. 
can't smell anything. Hey, you mean you can't smell food cooking? No. <laughs> there isn't any food cooking. Yes, I know. Why not, bro? Make us some breakfast. Yeah, make it yourself. I'm going to read about moths. <laughs> Funny man. I suppose elephants have very good hearing. Just look at their ears. Yes, insects are also very interesting. Did you know that spiders have hairs on their legs that can sense sound? Yuck. Mm, and there is a type of cricket that can hear with its knees. Wow. That's even freaker than Felix, my chameleon. <laughs> <laughs> my senses help us see the world. We see with our eyes what's going on. We hear with our ears, even the slightest song. We smell with our very large, broad noses. We wish everything would smell like roses. We taste with our mouths every delicious morsel. But don't rely on our tongues like a slithery snake. We touch with our skin, though ours is really tough. But we don't care, we've got sense enough. Five senses help us see the world. Five senses help us see the world. Sight, hearing, smell, taste and touch. Sight, hearing, smell, taste and touch. One more. Sight, hearing, smell, taste and touch. What, what? Oh, I see now. Yolanda doesn't smell. She can smell and see and hear and taste and touch. And so can I. What, what? Those five senses are very useful for finding and eating bananas. Yeah. Can you think of any other examples of how wonderful the senses of animals are? See you next time. Bye. Bye. Five senses help us see the world. We see with our eyes what's going on. We hear with our ears, even the slightest song. We smell with our very large, broad noses. We wish everything would smell like roses. We taste with our mouths every delicious morsel. But don't rely on our tongues like a slithery snake. We touch with our skin, though ours is really tough. But we don't care, we've got sense enough. Five senses help us see the world. Five senses help us see the world. Sight, hearing, smell, taste and touch. Sight, hearing, smell, taste and touch. One more. Sight, hearing, smell, taste and touch.